just got back from Mexico. Had a really good time. You know what? Let's actually just roll the footage that I got there. You're not the dinosaur. Get off the table. You are a psychopath. I'm done. I give up. I quit. Say uncle. I... That's weird. Don't say uncle. Kelly Clarkson. One today, I turn into a velociraptor. It's not a big thing. 10 second dance is part to go. This is brought to you by Jack. <laughs> <laughs> you are not in a You are not in a I'm going to the gym. I'm going to the pool. I'm not naked, so just make sure all cameras are off. Hey. You put my camera on! I almost walked out here. Well, that's your problem. Butt naked. No, you that's lied to me. Christian's <laughs> you. Oh, so close. All right, here is what we're working with. Not a bad little gym. Not a bad view at all for cardio today. Half marathon prep still going. Gonna have to do everything on the treadmill because there's really no place to run around here. I'll be able to see how far, how fast I'm running besides being on the treadmill. On the Garmin as well today, I got an eight minute, just easy warm up run. I'll have a two minute build up where I'll get down to like a 7.45 minute pace and then I'll be doing five minutes of dynamic stretching. And then I have two 30 seconds of the sending sprints at probably a four minute mile pace, running hard, and then I jog or walk for three minutes in between those sets. The main set's gonna be five half mile runs at eight minute pace. And in between those half miles, all two minutes, just rest, walk. It's a decent amount of work, but depending on which day it is, what I have in the gym with the heat program, kind of dictates what I do with my running. This half marathon, it's gonna be here before you know it. I will say that running workout wasn't great. When you're a heavy guy and it's not a great treadmill, I just kept on running into it. So, you know, I didn't do all the running that was on my program. And I would say it was a nice break, but it actually, I left feeling so beat up. A, drank too much tequila, but when I drink, I don't love what happens to my skin, my hair, dehydrated, just don't feel good. And that snowballs into other areas of my life. I then, you know, don't, train then i don't eat as well and it's just kind of like i eat because i'm unhappy and i'm unhappy because i'm i eat i eat because i'm unhappy and i'm unhappy because i eat we got back two nights ago just was wrecked and i'm come to the realization that i gotta change some things up right now my running is increasing and i'm not recovering quite like i should i came back 205 from mexico but it was a scubby skinny chubby. I'm not a big eater naturally, but when I'm running like this, I have to eat more. I'm gonna have to modify my training a little bit, so I'm gonna probably go to a upper body, lower body, upper body, lower body day, um, and then really focus on stretching to keep that lower back injury, I guess, from flaring up, because my, my running yesterday consisted of 50 minutes at a steady state, and definitely felt that back being tight. We're back though, we're in the gym. It's a leg day today. You're gonna get down there, gonna stretch really well, and then get onto the track later for some interval workout today. So I'm gonna separate my workout and my tr my run today by about four hours and really just try to grub up. Train, eat, run, let's go. So I love actually pre-exhausting the leg, especially because I'm quad dominant. So if I can pre-exhaust a little bit of quads and then activate glutes and a little circuit beforehand, I find that it's able to get a little bit more tuned in with what I'm doing. So we're gonna be doing a little tricep. I like to set this a little bit further back. So I'm really feeling like I'm stretching this as, as far as it can go on this machine. And from there, good stretch. No kind of eccentric or eccentric here. I'm just half second pause at the top, 10 to 12 reps, getting the quads going. I will say running has tightened up my quads. That constant hammering away, it's made things hard. It's made things more dense feeling. Next up, a little glute activation, pressing through the heels. Hamstring curls. I want to keep constant tension on this pad with my hips. This is that position I want. Now we can curl. One, two. All right, two times through that. A little pre-exhaust is done. Time to jump into the rest of the workout. Yo, it's too many lies. Look in my eyes, they know I'm the truth. Uh, okay. Knocking them down every time I step in the booth. Uh -huh. We ain't got a lie, they know we the vibe. We living in proof. What? It's young conscious, shoot my life a movie. I live in a spoof. Uh, a ain't no sticking around, I'm on the move. I'm checking the dose. Yeah, it's dose. only us two, so you know we copping that coupe. Mm -hmm. We on the roof, smoking dope. Look at the view. Yeah, we used to chill on the stoop. Now we out here breaking the news. Uh -huh. Eddie, you really could do, cause uh -huh. we ain't got nothing to lose. We ain't switch side with no crew. We nah. just stayed out of the loop. Facts. Now we out here letting it loose. Facts. Every shot we took it was swoosh. Gotta get it, ain't no excuse. Ain't left the proof. Hey, yeah, hey, it's too many lies. Let's go. 
a week. Now it's gotta make sure I'm doing probably the most important thing right now, and that's getting enough food. So I'm gonna go get a big lunch. Chicken, rice, veggies. It's honestly my favorite thing to eat. So I don't, I'm not counting calories right now, but basically keeping my protein what it's always at. Adding carbohydrates, a little bit extra fats, mostly carbs. Carbs need to be up 400 to 500 every day. It's hard for me. All right. When I said I was adding calories, I wasn't lying. So we're here at my favorite Greek spot, Mad Pita. And I have rice, chicken, just grilled chicken, spicy grilled chicken with rice, with an extra side of pita for more protein. So I'm guessing this is anywhere from 60 to 70 grams carbs, maybe more. I'm guessing like 25 grams fat and about 50 grams protein because I have about eight ounces of chicken in here. So. All right, guys, it is track time. Today is interval training. So we're out here, it's sunny. It's about, it's about 65, 70 degrees, but what we got is eight minutes, just an easy run. That's like 10 to 12 minutes in terms of a pace. From there, I got two minutes of just building up to like what my pace is gonna be in the half marathon, which is gonna be probably about an 8.30. And then I got five minutes of dynamic stretching, some sprint work, some like 200 stuff. And then my main sets are going to be four sets of six minutes. So it's all timed stuff today. Six minute run at my 8.30 pace. And then in between, I easy jog or walk to get my heart rate back down. So all in all, it's about an hour workout. I'm out of school here. They're in school, so we might even get kicked out of here. I don't know, but we're gonna get started. Oh, if you guys played sports growing up, whenever you did this, your coach probably told you, hey, it's up your knees, up here. There's a study that came out about a year ago. This actually gets more oxygen into your lungs. But if you wanna be a badass, pretend you're not tired, just hands here. This looks tired. This looks tired. This looks the most tired. So we're just gonna stay right here. All done for today. Got a little five minute cool down, just to be some stretching. Guys, I'm not fast yet. I'm faster than I was yesterday, but I'm not fast yet. That's all there is to it. So you might not be strong, yet but if you're in the gym you're stronger than you were yesterday that kind of mentality will get you somewhere so it's not about that in destination it's about beating who you were yesterday workout done back at the office my last week's video was our u.s wedding we're just talking about if people cried watching i didn't cry watching the video you did i cried in the video i didn't cry watching it yes you did when you saw me cry i almost cried my family all cried it was super sad um let's read some <laughs> let's read uh it was super sad i got married in yeah US no it was just life. it was super sweet let's read some of your guys's comments i feel like more females commented on this video than any other brilliant love too so happy for you you had some hard trials already congratulations brilliant love too that was really nice of you um we got so beautiful congratulations just a lot of people being super nice congratulations wow 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 been watching you for more than six years you've been working towards this for a long time now a miracle has happened anything nice i said i take back anything nice i said i'd say you're feral Disgusting. That straight up came from deep. I want to wish you patience because family life will test your strength. <laughs> Mutual respect and understanding of each other and not burping. Take care of each other and your love. Happiness to you both. That's super sweet. That's sweet. But did you hear Morgan in that burp? So. In that burp. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Last set, best set, finally got married. For real. Most of these are super nice. Got married, unsubscribed. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna start doing this more and more. So we appreciate you guys. Honestly, YouTube is one of those things that I wouldn't do if I didn't like it. So whether they're nice comments or mean comments, I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy the nice ones and laugh at the mean ones because we got some thick skin in this family. Make sure you guys watch that video if you haven't. We're gonna link it here and we'll see you next time.